shortcuts and back ways to avoid traffic. Traffic can often take us a little longer, but what happens when traffic is so bad you can't leave your driveway? Our Abby Breidenbach shows us how one neighborhood is tackling this issue. It definitely is a great neighborhood, always has been. But during the school year, for about an hour in the morning and again in the afternoon, people who live on Roselawn Boulevard say they're trapped. You'd have to wait 15 minutes to get out of your driveway because your driveway was blocked and the line's not moving. That line stretches from LJ Alamon all the way to Johnston Street with about a mile of homes and driveways in between. Parents are reminded in newsletters and the school's handbook to respect the neighborhood and the driveways, but neighbors say that hasn't helped and they're fed up. There are people that live here. The lane that they're, par they're stopping in to drop their children off at school is not a drop your kid off lane. It is actually a walking lane and a biking lane. So they're taking matters into their own hands. Last year I made signs and they really worked well. And so then one of my neighbors said, do you have a sign? And then another neighbor says, do you have a sign? And so I think there's like 15 signs out there now. Kaki Laurel, who created the signs, and her neighbors say with the dawn of a new year, they're already seeing a change and they hope it will last through May and beyond. People kind of stop and they're more aware of that, that it is a driveway, that there are people living there. Yeah, well, maybe it's starting to catch on. Let's hope so. In Lafayette, Abby Breidenbach, KATC TV3.